Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for a much-anticipated main event. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. He's showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. He's showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. Up, Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Teddy, I assume many times in your career you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into traps. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. You see him holding on. Great movement to get away from those punches. Body shot, left hand. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. him scoring well with the right well he may be in bad shape but all of a sudden all of a sudden he's able to avoid punches and survive you know boxing is a funny business it's a metaphor for life you know sometimes you have somebody outside and they don't say what they want to say they have to have a drink a little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind sometimes a fight is no different you know he gets hurt and now all of a sudden all his inhibitions are gone and now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about it's automatic so as that round ends it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place and that is we have one man who just separated himself from the other. He was able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while because I really think that those punches are a benefit 
from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. Side side. Lean to the side. It. Ooh, counter. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good looking uppercut that time. Move your head. Halfway through this round. Placed left hand there. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Returns to sender. He gives him back one of his own. That's okay. Pay him back. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Final 10 seconds of round number two. That right hand serving him well. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. And this round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas ringside. I'm just looking up at the corner here at this guy that just got tagged, Teddy, this fighter who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected now. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff, and he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you got to do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give him a rope. Give him advice to get down. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. <laughs> That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Right to the head with that right. Keep your hands up. Just missed. A 
Good block. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And he ties up on the inside. Locks that punch. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Clinches when he gets to the inside. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? scorecard here at the beginning of round four he's up three to zip but it may be a moot point he's put his man down on the canvas in complete control of this fight yeah he's hurt him several times he's shown power and his opponent has shown no ability to change things he missed with that headshot well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, he starts acting in a way that he's Work never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And he engages in the clinch. Halfway through round number four. that punch. Teddy, it is such a gift 
that he has right here. We're seeing such a technically sound defensive fighter. Yeah, we are. You know, the old-time trainers would say, Teddy, he's doing the hard part. And that is the hard part, making the guy miss. Now he has to start doing the fun part, hitting him. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Final 10 seconds. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive, you know that he had a good round. Round number five has arrived. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Blocks that punch. Jump, solid left. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He is stunned. He could go down. Gets rid of that body shot. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Not much action as he just ties up. Wide shots that aren't sharp or targeted. That has been his problem tonight. There you go. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Well, his opponent got away from that uppercut. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Shake it that up. wasn't able to land. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. You're winning this fight. Estás ganando. Just we keep doing what you're doing and you got this. Just keep doing what you're doing. All right. All right. You're almost done. You had him that You round. don't need that. No, throw that away.
Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whenever he misses, counter. Listen, why not pick up where you left off? Remember, he was so badly damaged in the last round. You got to think his opponent should be all over him here. Could be an opportunity. Sometimes you got to take something that's dark, that's really bad, and turn it around, find the good. Maybe he can find the opportunity to catch his opponent coming after him a little careless. Commits to the straight right. Protecting his head well with his guard. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Clean shot with the right. Double up your punch. Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. <laughs> Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. You're not <laughs> focusing. <laughs> Had his target in mind, but just missed. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy. But at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my kitchen cabinets because he'd be just cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves. I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would, I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's gonna have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are gonna have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage. Of he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but now he's the busier man. And yet another big shot comes in. Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Just missed scoring with that punch.
Good, solid right hand lands. go of it to the body but came up empty halfway through the seventh round let's see some more head movement what a great round this has turned into after doing the hurting now he's Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's it. Unable to rise up and beat the count. A knockout victory. Walked right into that one. Let's make it official. And for that, we send it up to our ring announcer. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.